Storyville Kids presents V is for Voting, written by Kate Farrell, illustrated by Caitlin Kuwald, published by Henry Holt and Company. Thanks so much for joining us today, friends. Today we're reading V is for Voting. Can you tell us what this book is probably about? Yes, that's right. Voting. And what it means to vote, how we can make a difference, and how every vote matters, how every vote counts. And what's the first letter in the alphabet? Yes, that's right. It's A. A is for active participation. B is for building a more equal nation. Let's see what's going on in this picture here. Wow, look at this. They are showing their active participation by making these colorful, beautiful posters and building a more equal nation by drawing these symbols of equality. C. C is for citizens' rights and our duty. D. D is for difference, our strength, and our beauty. Can you think of any citizens' rights that we have? Hmm. Yes, that's right. The right to vote. Voting. And that's exactly what this book is about, right? V is for voting. Very good. Can you remember what D stands for? Yes, that's right. D stands for difference. That we're all different. And that's a great thing. That's our strength and our beauty. So being different from each other is a great thing. It's something we can appreciate and celebrate. E for engagement. We all need to care. F for free press to find facts and share. G is for govern, to lead and to guide. Great job, readers. Do you recognize any of the leaders here? They've guided us throughout history. And each of these leaders have helped the United States build a more equal nation. So when you get a chance, go through each one and learn more about them. H is for homelands that we've occupied. I is for inching ahead bit by bit. The march is a long one, but we cannot quit. J is for judges. They're meant to be fair, to be neutral, unbiased, objective, they swear. And readers, be sure to check out our other video, our Story Fill Kids video of I Look Up to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, RBG, was a Supreme Court Justice and you get to learn more about her in our other video. K is for knowing that you can take part. L is for local, and that's where you start. M is for matter, and every vote does. N is for never forgetting what was. We shall overcome. Friends, what's the next letter? Yes, that's right, it's O. O is for onward, keep progress in sight. P is for protest when we need to fight. Your, Your vote, vote counts. counts! Q is for questions. I've got one, or three. R is for represent. They work for me. S is for suffrage, the right to vote. This fight is ongoing, not history's footnote. Not everyone has always had the right to vote. 
This timeline highlights just a few of the important voting rights events in United States history. You can refer to this timeline at the end of this book as well. T is for talented teachers in schools. Well-informed citizens don't suffer fools. And friends, remember to thank your teachers for everything they do to help you learn. Thank you, teachers! U is for unbought, unbossed, undeterred. V, what does V stand for? Yes, that's right. V is for voting to make your voice heard. W is working for change, win or lose. X marks the spot on the ballot you choose. Y is for you. We need everyone's hand. Z is for zeal. Please bring yours. Take a stand. Awesome job, friends. We went from A all the way to Z to learn about voting. Hope you enjoyed this book, friends. And remember, V is for voting to make your voice heard. You Please, Please like this video and subscribe to Storyville Kids channel. Thanks, kids. Bye.